Both South Korea and Japan are reporting a barrage of ballistic missiles and artillery rounds by North Korea, stoking fears that the North is planning its first nuclear weapons test in five years. North Korea fired more than a dozen missiles across the northern limit line for the first time since the end of the Korean War. Seoul later said the North fired 100 artillery rounds into a maritime buffer zone. Japan's Coast Guard then reported a missile launch. Now tensions are riding high as South Korea and the US hold military drills. Pyongyang repeatedly claims the exercises are an invasion rehearsal. I'm joined now from Seoul by Josh Smith, a senior correspondent with the Reuters news agency. Uh, it's good to see you, Josh. So what more can you tell us uh, about these missiles that have been fired today? We've seen a record number of uh, missile launches from North Korea, as well as more than 100 artillery shells fired into a, a buffer zone in the sea uh, with South Korea. Um, just moments ago, we had more reports of surface-to-air missiles fired by North Korea, according to the South Korean military. So it's been an uh, unusually active day. Uh, the one that caught everyone's attention, however, was this single ballistic missile that, as you mentioned, crossed uh, the northern limit line, this maritime border between the two Koreas, and landed less than 60 kilometers off the coast of South Korea. This led to air raid warning uh, uh, in one of the South Korean islands um, and prompted uh, President Yoon suk yeol in South Korea to order warplanes to fire uh, missiles back across that line into the ocean off North Korea. It's certainly a cycle of uh, escalating military actions by both sides at this point. Uh, Josh, how serious is this escalation by the North? Is Pyongyang ready to, to test nuclear weapons? This all comes in the context of South Korea and the United States saying that North Korea has completed all technical preparations to conduct a nuclear test, which would be its first since 2017. And many observers do fear that this uh, cycle is leading to uh, North Korea deciding to eventually test a nuclear weapon. Uh, the international community, which has imposed sanctions on North Korea over its test in the past, is much more fractured now. Uh, at the United Nations Security Council, where China and Russia have uh, opposed uh, recent sanctions efforts. So the international reaction uh, is likely to be very different this time around. All right, that is Josh Smith, senior uh, correspondent for the Reuters News Agency, reporting for us there from Seoul. Thank you, Josh.